I so dearly want to smile while I talk to you about this topic, and yet it's all I can do to keep the tears at bay. Today I'm going to share with you a message that I hope empowers you, emboldens you, gives you hope. So if you are someone who lets the shoulds or, or, or agrees when you don't actually agree or is working so hard to be everything to everyone else and in service to that, you're denying your truth and you happen to be a feminine energy biased being, you should watch this video. And as always, before we get started, to support me, please like and subscribe. If you are a feminine energy biased being and you're interested in getting into alignment so that you can powerfully co-create intentions that because they were created in alignment will rapidly manifest so that you can be on this beautiful path of guilt-free thriving, subscribe, tell your friends, comment. Thank you. So the title of this video is STOP, all caps, TRYING to suppress your truth. And I say trying because it takes a lot of effort. And what's really beautiful about truth, about higher self, about inner self, about grace, about the reason why we're on this planet, which is to serve our purpose, the fact is that you'll always have to try to suppress. You can never be successful. You just might get really, really good at suppression. But the thing about life and the thing that's really helpful about the human body and this holistic existence that we are enjoying is that you can stuff here physically, but it's going to come out in mental. It's going to come out in spiritual. It's going to come out in emotional. And what that looks like for most feminine energy biased beings, because most of us are women, but not all feminine energy biased beings are women. I want to stress that because we are that and we have this thing called menstruation when we are suppressing it comes out in pms it comes out in cramps it comes out in sickness it comes out in mental snaps where we don't know we are suddenly very very forgetful or we're suddenly very emotional like the smallest trigger just threw us for a loop and we're like that's not me that's not where I, that's not how I exist in this world. I, I can't believe I said or did those things. I don't know what happened. What happened is that you're suppressing your truth. And this is a very personal topic for me. Um, wow, I'm so glad that I'm, I'm now speaking because getting ready to speak about this topic was making me very emotional, but letting it out is making me uh, very excited and empowered and really happy. Um, so I wish I could re-record those intros, but then I know that I would have to prepare to speak again and I, I don't want to prepare to speak again. I just want to tell you to stop trying to suppress your truth. Um, and, and, and that's a wonderful example. So I had all of these emotions brimming that were just on the surface. I, I had tears that were right here going whoop up from my root chakra. Whoop, 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 whoop. And it's because I was, I had a message to tell and I was suppressing it. I was suppressing a truth. Um, and it was about to come out because anything that you push down just comes out somewhere else. Um, so that's the first reason that we need to stop trying to suppress our truth because we're actually not going to be successful. It will come out in some other ways. So the more you suppress, the more control you, you, uh, abdicate. No. Lose. The more control you lose in your life, period. And, and, and how that looks uh, in my life, why I'm an expert at telling you about this, is because I lived a life where I was trying to suppress my truth. I was in this relationship, a very not so great relationship, but a lot of learning. And it was one where I wanted so desperately for it to be the solution. I was 38 years old and I didn't want to be 39 and single. Oh dear God, I didn't want to be 39 and single. So I gave this relationship all that I had because I really, really, really didn't want to have another one. And I really wanted to, this to like be the end because I was like, come on, I've been, I've been in this world of, of self-realization, of yoga, of meditation, of, of sobriety, of, 
um, mindfulness. I, I had been living this life like dedicated to finding out how to be empowered, how to um, thrive. And yet nothing was happening for me. I was like my life, the energy was completely stagnant and it was going in the other direction. I was so far into suppression that I had dug the hole, put myself in it, made sure to, to you know, lock the hatch above me, make sure that, the, that I lock the lock to the hatch and then make sure that I throw away the key so that I can't find it and just you know, learn how to thrive in this darkness is essentially like what I set myself up to do uh, because I wanted so desperately to have the things that everybody told me I was supposed to want to have. And I need to stress, not my friends and family that were telling me this. No, 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 no. Society. I decided to make, not the people who love me dearly, but society's norms of, of you want to be, you want to marry young. I was already 30, 38. I'm like way past marrying young. So, oh my gosh. And, and I knew that, oh, those two numbers, four, zero, what am I going to do? Like, I'm going to, then, you know, I just knew it was going to be doomed. I didn't know what was on the other side, but I just knew it was going to, I was going to be doomed. Um, and you know, the rest of the story, like I, I left the relationship. I, I was single at 39. It wasn't that bad at all. In fact, the quality of man was pretty awesome that, um, approached. Anyways, I want to stay out of my love life because that's not what this channel is about. It's not called Christine's love life. It's called Sparrow Holistic and it's devoted to guilt-free thriving. And the way to get to guilt-free thriving is through alignment. And the way to get to alignment is to do these various tools that I offer. And I think that there are so many tools to offer that I have like so many videos about this. Well, not so many yet, but they're coming. They're coming down the pike. Um, so yeah, I'm qualified because I was in a horrible relationship, a really, really bad relationship, full of a lot of learning opportunities. Um, and one of the biggest ones was that I suppressed my truth. And the reason I suppressed my truth was because I was terrified and very, very certain that I was unworthy of thriving. I was unworthy of true joy and that I needed to just keep compromising, toe the line so that I could have all the things that everybody else said were the things that you want. Um, marriage, family, career, stability. I wanted that so desperately. Um, because I had been, you know, a misfit, a renegade. I had, I had lived, I've lived many lives. Uh, people who know my story, uh, I'll always go, how? <laughs> and it's called, I, I did, I, I, I lived in truth. I tried my best to live my truth. Um, but that last year, September, 2020, to October 2021, that was a year of the suppression of my truth. And it hurt so much. It hurt so bad. And that's why this video means so much to me, because I know the other side of it. It looked like brutally painful cramps. It looked like PMS, where I wanted to go away every month when I had my PMS because I was so afraid of what I was going to do. It looked like isolation from my friends and family because I just, I wanted to not be a failure again. So that's what it was for me. I got sick a lot. I was in a lot of pain. And all of the reasons for those pains could be justified medically and yet when I stopped suppressing my truth, i.e. when I said, and I don't want to even, I, I, I hesitate to say said, when I lived, because I'm a feminine energy biased being. So speaking my truth doesn't look like this. It actually looks like this. It looks like where I rest my gaze is what I'm blessing. It looks like what I choose to acknowledge, what I choose to receive, that's my truth. The boundaries that I set, what I allow in my world, that's my truth. I don't have to say it. I am it. And in turn, I attract as a feminine energy bias being, this is what, this is our thing. I attract those who adore cherish, are so excited to exchange in such 
brilliant, beautiful ways. That's what I have around me. So that's the promise of why I don't try to suppress my truth. Now, let's dig a little more deeply into this. Yeah. So digging into truth, we've already started this conversation. You're in it. You're in it right now if you're this far into the video. I want to invite you, actually, you know I love, I love experiments. They're the really good um, thought experiment that I talk about. I like that term that Einstein gives, thought experiments. I think it's so fun. Anyways, um, I'd like to invite you um, in the comments. I'd like to invite you to tell a truth. It can be teeny tiny, like I love pickles. I do, I love pickles. It could be teeny tiny or it could be really huge. But I invite you to go to the comments and tell your truth. Because it's, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's, it's the beginning of a feeling and you're gonna feel something and, and that feeling's gonna be really blissful. And the next thing that you do in like five minutes or 10 minutes or a day after this video, you're gonna get the opportunity to not tell the truth or to tell the truth, to not agree with what someone says. And they're like, you know, and you're like, actually, I don't know. Like that opportunity is going to come up. And because of how good it felt when you wrote that comment, you're going to, you might tell the truth again. And then you're going to, you're going to feel it again. And then you're going to have all these little snowballs that as they start to roll down the mountain and get more and more momentum, they're gonna become an avalanche and suddenly, boom, your life is gonna be reflecting your truth. So I wanna stress to you, you know, looking at this on a more deep, on a deeper level, that we already know how manifestation works. We know that it, we're manifesting all the time. One of my, the other video I'm launching this week is um, about manifestation and it digs deep on that. So watch that video um, for more about that. Uh, but one of the big themes of manifestation is that it's not something we can cut off. It is what we are looking at at all times. This is a manifestation, but I didn't do it. It's a co-created manifestation because it's me talking to the universe and the universe is like, what's up? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me. And I tell them and I don't tell them universe. I want this. No, no, no. I don't think that works. I tried it. I tried it. Um, but actually telling the truth was the game changer. It's that idea, integrity of word. <sighs> if I tell the universe, I am smart, the universe is going to give me ways to show that because they're going to say, you are smart. Okay, you are smart. Great. What is two plus two? What is two times two? What is two squared? What is two to the negative one? What is two? They're just going to give me because I say, that's what I want you to know. That's what I am. They're going to give me more of what I am. And the converse also exists. And so then we have this dissonance where we say, I am this, I want to manifest this. I, 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 I want, I want, I want to manifest this. Uh, my, uh, this is what I really want. This is the thing. And then we have opportunities to be that thing that we want to be to tell the truth to, because remember we're feminine energy bias beings. So truth is what we are. It's what we do. It's what we believe where our gaze falls. That is blessed where our attention goes, energy flows. So when we're dishonest, we take the intention that we co-created and we go like this and it goes and it, and it separates into a million little pieces because what's the energy, what's the universe supposed to do with um, words that are conflicting, phrases that are conflicting. I don't trust someone who lies. And yet we lie, especially for feminine energy biased beings. We've been raised for obligation, for must, for should, for be a good girl. And good is not a qualified word. It depends on who that person is that said it. And so suddenly we're beholden to everybody else's definition of good because we're trying to be that thing because we got a pat on the back or a pat on the head or treats or gifts. 
some kind of praise that made us feel like a million bucks when we were like three years old. And we're looking for that validation. And so we buy into what good is and we try to figure out what good is so that we can have just that, that validation. And so then we end up being great moms, great teachers, great bosses, and we don't exist. We just are the definitions of everybody else's idea of what good and great are. Who are you? Are you enjoying your life? And a lot of people will say, I'm totally, I love my life. I mean, if I could, I would do, 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 do. But I really do love it. Ah, you're apologizing to me. You're apologizing to yourself. It's okay if the answer to do you love your life is no. That's a starting point. Oh my gosh, you just said the truth. Mwah, bless you. I do these because, because I'm talking to me. I'm talking to me a year ago who didn't have me to tell her, you got to start being the truth. I'm really not cool with, with saying the truth. The title of the video is Stop Trying to Suppress Your Truth. Stop trying to suppress who you are. There's a, this, this thing that we do, um, Einstein, he says the definition of, in, of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. We, we do that. We, um, we, we say, I want help. I, I really want help. I really want help. Oh, is that, is that your answer? That's your help? Uh, no. Um, I want help. I really want help. I really want help. Uh, what's your answer? No. To do, to do that? To, uh, uh, I, I can't do that. Anything but that. Um, I really need help. I really need help. The answer is just start telling the truth, being in integrity with your word, but not telling, being, and trusting that it's just all going to fall into place because the universe, you can't think of something that can't, that doesn't exist. Sci-fi fantasies, they're still based on, what is it, eight basic stories of humanity. The Odyssey, the Ramayana, the Nibelungalid, myths, different cultures, same story. You can't not get what you want if you're in integrity with your truth. If you're not, you will never get what you want. And it starts with you with you. Darkness. Going to darkness, sitting there for even two minutes and asking yourself, who am I? What do I want? What do I believe I am worthy of having? And be honest with the answers that come up because that's a starting point. You might be ashamed of your answers. So start improving your life. But it doesn't have to go like this. I'm going to improve my life. It goes like this, one breath at a time, mindfulness, being present. Ah, this is what is. Huh, I don't like it. Okay, I'll change it. I'm going to change this one thing. I'm going to drink more water. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to spend time with myself and have a date with myself instead of Going out, going out, going out, going out. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm going to give myself 3% of every penny I earn. And I'm going to put it in a jar. Or I'm going to put it in a separate bank account. I'm going to look at that number every day. And I'm going to watch it grow. And if there's not enough in there, I'm going to say, Hey, I want more money in my bank account. My bank account is ready for more money. And if you're living in integrity with your word, in integrity with your truth, that is thoughts, feelings, beliefs, actions. Oh boy, your bank account's going to be just fine. So that's it. Stop, all caps, trying to suppress your truth. Stop trying to push the beach ball under the water. 
because it doesn't matter how strong you are, eventually it's going to explode out of the water. And that's so cool um, in a water, in a pool. It's not so cool when it's exploding in one of the eight spokes of your wheel of life. A great way to begin is to begin in grace. I have a guide. You can download it. It's in the description. Um, it's a link to how to begin. Very useful, especially if you want to start getting in integrity with truth. You may not even know how. Ask. Start your relationship with the universe. Restart your relationship with the universe. Reset. It can start right now. It's so powerful beginnings. Harness that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it makes me like want to like show you the, the PDF and everything. But no, you go and you go look at that yourself. Um, but I'm, stop, I'm stopping here. You guys have given me a lot of minutes of time today and I appreciate it. I'm just, this is a serious one and they're all serious. It's our lives, you know. Um, but I really, really, really hope that you will take the time, give yourself the gift the grace, the kindness, the faith to be in truth. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. Mm. Thank you.